chemist Jan. <sighs> Got back from having an interesting conversation. So I probably need this as much as you do right now. <laughs> <sighs> so with that said, girl, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I wish I could like kind of talk with you about um, this. Um, so right now I'm just in terms of what music you would like, maybe like if you want to put in any requests at any point in time for music and playlists, um, I always feel like you can do that. Just let me know. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and ground down. Actually, let's start lying on our backs. Maybe we take the feet up the wall. So let's go ahead and find a wall space or the couch works. Go ahead and come all the way down onto your back. Nice deep inhale. So legs elevated is always a nice way to be able to cool your body off on a hot day. So if you're ever having problems sleeping, you can always take your legs up a wall. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Breathing in to the chest. And exhale. gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves for coming into this space. Nice deep inhale. for the indigenous peoples of this land. So the Salish, Blackfeet, Kootenai tribes. Say out the names of the folks who are of your space. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga. Centering our ourselves and our breath. Understanding that this is a practice that helps us let go of things that we might be holding. Traumas within our own lives and traumas within the lives of our parents, our grandparents, our great grandparents. Things that we hold within our bodies. Gratitude for black and brown people because they are the ones who create this practice. And exhale. If there's any person, a person, place, or places that you want to extend a little bit. Space of charity, but from the space of love. Nice deep inhale. Exhale. Crown of the head sails a little bit back behind you. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Stay with arms out to the sides, palms up, and ready to receive all that is coming to us space of divine wealth and divine abundance, divine joy and divine happiness within our lives. And nice deep inhale. And exhale. 
if your feet are up the wall, they can stay there. If they're resting on the couch or chair, they can stay there as well. Hands come and interlock behind the head. So hands cradle the skull. Elbows stay out nice and wide. We go ahead and pulse ourselves up for 10, 9, 8, 7, for 6, for 5, for 4, for 3, for 2, and 1. Big inhale, hold here. Pulse it up, baby pulses for 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Big inhale. If the legs are already up the wall, keep them there. Flex the toes back towards the face and really engage the quads. So think about wrapping the muscles behind the bones, turning the toes down towards the face. Go ahead and release the hands from behind the head. We're gonna pulse up towards the feet for eight, seven, six, five, for four, for three, for two, and one. And then left hand to the outside of right foot, right hand to the outside of left. We go for eight, for seven, for six. Keep the hip cemented. The movement comes from the abdomen for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. And then both hands go up to touch the toes, big inhale. Exhale, go ahead and slowly release, put a bend in the knees. Hands come down to the sides. Let's bring ourselves back into a plow. So flex the toes back towards the face, ground down. You can press down through the elbows and raise the chest up a little bit here. Nice deep inhale. And then on our exhale, we slowly bring the feet back behind us. Chin tucks in towards chest. Hands can come to the low back. And if you can get your feet back behind you, try to crawl them in towards the head a little bit more. You can even put a bend in the knees and rest the knees on the forehead and catch that compression of your thyroid, chin to chest. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Again, big inhale. Exhale. Maybe extend out through the legs again. Maybe crawl the toes back in just a little bit more. Still lifting through the hips and pulling in on the low belly. Big inhale. Exhale, slowly. Bring the legs all the way down towards the mat. And then go ahead and just rock the knees over to the side and you can roll yourself out of a fetal and into a tabletop. Hands underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Inhale, chest comes forward. Exhale, press and pull. Two more. Inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Two more, inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Last one, inhale, chest forward. Exhale, press. Inhale, back into table. Take that left leg out behind you. Take that, or the right leg out behind your left leg and then right hand extends, big inhale. Exhale, hold. Go ahead and pull the knee and elbow to touch center line. And then inhale, extend back out. Exhale, squeeze midline. And then inhale, pull back out for two more. Squeeze and pull in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Hand and knee come down to mat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, back into table. Take that right leg back behind you. Press out through the heel. Extend out through that right arm and lift. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, knee and elbow. Squeeze. Inhale up. Exhale, squeeze. Three more. Inhale, press the wall away. So flex the foot as you press away for two, and one, squeeze and point the toe, hand underneath the shoulder, inhale, into cow, exhale into cat, inhale into cow, exhale into cat, inhale back into table, take the knees wide, 
Bring the big toes together to touch and press back into your child's big inhale. Crawl the fingers out in front of you. Forehead comes down to the mat. Breathe into the back body, into the rib cage. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Again, nice deep inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. Draw the fingers out a little bit more and exhale. Pull back on to the hips and pull in on the low belly. And slowly walk the hands back towards the face. Right hand extends a little bit beyond the face. Pull that left hand all the way up to the sky. Big inhale here. You can really turn and open up to the chest. Maybe look back to the palm of that hand. And then go ahead and swoop the hand for the needle in your child's pose. You can use that right hand underneath the head to create a pillow. You can also take it off side of the mat, press and pull the shoulder through a little bit more. Big inhale. Side of the head comes down to the mat. One more time, big inhale here. And then exhale slowly. Sweep that arm back up high. Exhale. Extend that hand beyond the face. And then go ahead and slowly pull that opposite right hand up to the sky. Nice deep inhale, open up through the chest. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, swoop the palm, come down onto that shoulder. Again, that left hand can serve as a pillow. It can come off side over the mat. Press down and press, and then slowly pull that shoulder through. Head comes down to the mat. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And exhale. Slowly press into the palm and go ahead and swing that arm high. Exhale, hands come down a little bit beyond the shoulders. You can pull yourself up, flip your toes and pop your hips high into your down dog. Pedal out to the feet, nice deep inhale. And then go ahead and spot right in between the two thumbs. Step, step. We come up to meet the hands. Inhale, flat backs. Hands to shins, head sails forward, tailbone sails back. Engage your low belly and then slowly let yourself fall down and over the tops of the thighs. Hang heavy here. Maybe sway back and forth side to side. Maybe you shake your head yes. Maybe you shake the head no. Maybe have a big bend in the knees and let the chest kind of just fall over the tops of the thighs. Engage the big toe mound, baby toe mound, and heel. And then slowly we sweep ourselves all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands move down through heart line. Inhale, arms press, palms press, reach up to the sky. Big inhale here. Exhale, flip the palms, pull in on the low belly, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Hands extend back behind you. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Let's go ahead into some sun sea. So step that right foot back behind and drop down to that right knee, toes, foot flat. Inhale, we pull ourselves up, pull back through that hip. Ooh, nice deep inhale here. Hands move down through heart line. Right elbow crosses that left knee. I'm not marrying you. Do as I say, not as I do. Well, it's, it was is what I'm doing, but the mirror is the opposite, right? Press, look out past that opposite shoulder. Hold. Maybe flip the back toes and press out. Yeah, the motorcycles, nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly release. Bring that right hand down to the inside of that foot. Hand comes up to the sky, big inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step that left foot back, big inhale. Exhale, drop down to the knees. We lower and lift, big inhale. Exhale, roll over the toes, press the hips high. Big inhale, pedal out through the feet. Right leg comes back behind, nice deep inhale. Spot that right thumb, set that right foot up to meet that right hand, press back through that left heel, drop down to that knee. Inhale up. Exhale, hands move down through heart line. Take that left elbow, press it over your right knee, press into your palms. Look back out over the shoulder, big inhale. 
Exhale, press out through the heel, hold here. And then slowly release, hands come down to the mat. You could either tent the fingers or ground all the way down, but we're gonna put a bend in that back knee and lift that back leg up off the mat. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. Drop the chest down to the top of the thigh. Forehead comes down to the shin. And then go ahead and take that left foot down to meet the right. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, we sweep ourselves all the way back up to stand. Exhale, hands move down through heart line. Same thing on that left hand side. Inhale, arms sweep. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. Engage your low belly. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Set that left foot back behind, big inhale. Exhale, drop down to that back, left knee, toes foot flat, inhale up. Pull back through that right hip. Hands move down through heart line. Take that left elbow, cross it, press into your palms and look back out over that shoulder, big inhale. Exhale, flip the toes and press out through the heel. One big inhale. Exhale. Release, hand comes down to the mat. Go ahead and step that right foot back to meet the left. Press back through the heels, shift forward. We lower and lift, big inhale. Roll over the toes and press back to your down dog, big inhale. And exhale. Left leg comes back behind, big inhale. Step forward that left hand, or that left foot to meet that left hand. And drop down to that back knee, toes foot flat. Inhale up. Exhale. Move down through heart line. Right elbow crosses the left. Press into the palms. Look back up over that shoulder. Big inhale. Exhale. Go ahead and slowly release. Hands come back down to the mat. You can always take that back knee up if you want to, or we do that now, right? <laughs> Next deep inhale. Put a little bend in that knee, and then go ahead and push yourself up into your standing split. Drop the chest down towards the top of the thigh. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, step that right foot down to meet the left. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over the tops of the thighs. And then inhale, we slowly sweep ourselves all the way up to sky. Exhale, hands move down through heart line. Inhale, arms sweep. Exhale, come down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Step, step, back into plank. Drop down through the knees. Take the sit bones back to the heels. Rock down onto your seat. This one's gonna be a little longer, lady. We'll spread the legs. Rock and shift back and forth, side to side a little bit. Move through the hips. Hands come down to the mat, crawl the fingers out. Toes flex back towards the face, grip onto the mat and let your elbows carry your heart down towards the mat a little bit more, relaxing and releasing in the tops of the thighs. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk the hands over towards that straight right leg. You can take that left hand to the outside of the foot and kind of turn yourself a little bit so you get a little bit of a twist and a big extension through your left side body, big inhale. Maybe you tuck your chin in towards your chest and bring your forehead down to meet your knee. Slowly release, bring ourselves through center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Keep that right hip cemented. Take that right hand to the outside of that left foot and pull yourself down. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Slowly release. We bring ourselves back to center. Crawl the fingers out one more time. Big inhale. 
let yourself pull your heart down towards the mat, big inhale. Relax and release on the insides of the groin and the outsides of the hips, nice deep inhale. Give your body permission to let go of anything that you're holding. Slowly walk the hands back towards the center line, pop up from the knees, pull the soles of the feet together to touch. Shift and move around through the hips a little bit. Hands come to the toes and we let ourselves come down and over. So butterfly, you can walk back through your hips a little bit. I think a lot of times we think it's better to have our soles pulled up towards our groin and that's true, but you can start to get into different parts of your hips depending on how close or how far away your feet are. Nice deep inhale, come down and over. Take the forehead down to the inside soles of the feet. So transfer the wisdom of the mind into the soles of the feet. Nice deep inhale. Yeah, hippy dippy like that. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Slowly walk yourself back up. Send out through the legs. Pull your seat forward. Come all the way down onto the back. Pull the knees up into the chest. Give yourself a nice little hug here because we deserve it, because we're bad bitches. Back of the head comes down to the mat. Tuck your chin in towards your chest and elongate out through your spine. Big inhale. Exhale, hold. Slowly release. Take the legs all the way down to the end of the mat. Lengthen out and come into your Shavasana. Palms face up towards the sky. Go ahead and sit here and breathe a little bit. Nice deep inhale. Coming back to this space. Coming into this conversation of find your purpose. The anchor mantra. How can I serve? If I read any of these before, it's always good to come back to them. Your life purpose is not a job title. I repeat, your life purpose is not a job title. Your purpose is not to be a singer, writer, artist, dancer, actor, yoga teacher, or entrepreneur. These are all job titles. Those are all mediums through which you express purpose. And there will be many mediums through which you express purpose. So stop expecting to find a catchy one-liner with which to neatly package your purpose. Release yourself from the burden of thinking it will ever be that simple. All that searching, spinning, and obsessive thinking is keeping you from recognizing the purpose that's been expressing itself through you all along. We all have many purposes throughout this great mystery of life. The key to finding yours is to stop searching, attune to what's in front of you and ask, how can I serve? Your purpose is not what you do, it's why you do it. This definition makes living with a purpose a moment to moment practice, a practice of presence, a practice of awareness, and a practice of action. Being of service is wired into the human experience and it is the pathway to finding meaning and purpose in everything you do. Close your eyes, place your hands over your heart, and begin your freedom meditation practice using the anchor mantra, how can I serve? Ask this question about your job, your relationships, or even the meeting you have coming up this week. If you ask, how can I serve in every situation, you'll find purpose in everything you do. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Thinking about journaling prompts and things that you can take with you after this practice. Asking yourself the question, what do you really do? And then asking it again from your heart, what do you really do? And go one layer deeper with a new answer. And then ask it again, going even deeper. What do you really do? Keep asking yourself the question, what do you really do? Going deeper and deeper each time until you have five to eight different answers. Remember, it's not about a job title or a catchy phrase. Find, try to find the essence. Knowing what you know now, what is your purpose in relation to the situation you choose to focus on? 
nice deep inhale. And exhale. Again, nice deep inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, you can slowly roll yourself over to your right or left hand side, coming into fetal. In fetal, we always remind ourselves it's where all human body is formed. Regardless of sex, race, gender, creed. In that space, we're surrounded by nothing but blackness and warmth, water, and love. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. And when you're ready, you can slowly press yourself back up to simple seated posture. The divine light, the divine feminine, and the divine masculine in me sees honors and reflects the divine light, the divine feminine, and the divine masculine in the collective we, in all of us. Thank you for sharing your practice with me, Jane, and for trusting me with your heart and your body and your mind and your soul. And to that, I say go in peace and serve love always. Love you.